it's me, Carla and Roe here, and I'm back with my $10 wash and go. When I say I got bomb results from a few simple, cheap products for the girl on a budget with natural hair, like, I can't, I can't deny these curls, I'm loving them, the body, you know, I did have to, you know, jazz it up a little bit, but you know. Anyways, I just wanted to share with you the products that I used to get these results. So I washed my hair as normal. I actually co-washed, I didn't wash wash. I used my Aussie um, moisturizing conditioner. I'll link it below the exact name. I love it, did a co-wash, got out, rinsed that out. And um, instead of using my normal leave-in, I used Cantu Care for Kids. It's their curling cream. When I say I would never expect a kid's product to get my hair super moisturized and defined, like who knew? Am I putting y'all on game? I think I am. Who shops in the kids all? Unless you have kids. Then of course you probably do shop there. But for my grown naturals that want a product that is super moisturizing, I suggest you go get this. Like it defines and tames frizzy frizz. It is everything. And then when like, it's just, ugh, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. It's just super moisturizing and I love it. So I put this on as the L in my lock method. This was my leave-in. Um, I used just an oil I had at home. The Jamaican black castor oil was the one I used today. But maybe you can use the coconut, jojoba. I saw another one the other day. Like there are all kind of oils out there. Just something to seal in that moisture. Definitely get you a, a oil. And then of course, Mac Daddy of all Mac Daddies, the Eco Styler Gel. This is probably my favorite gel ever. Um, obviously, it's $4.99, super cheap for a tub, obviously, of greatness. I love this one because it is the only one that does not flake on my hair. Um, and it also, it does create a gel cast. Uh, once it's dry, but once it's dry, you know, you just kind of shingle that out and then you can get some big poofy like curly hair So that's basically it. It's super easy I Anyone can do this wash and go if you struggle with wash and goes do this. Um, I have my little twisty twisties on the front Ooh, focus focus I have my twisties on the front because as we all know in my previous videos, I'm growing out my heat damage and the ones that don't curl as great are definitely in the front from my leave out that I used to, you know, when I did the weaves and was perming just the front. But yeah, so that's how I achieved these curls today. I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick tutorial, super simple. I'm going to fast forward through most of everything because... You guys probably have seen millions of videos on how to do a wash and go, and I don't want to bore you. So yeah, so just keep watching if you want to know how I got this look. I also want to say shout out to you. We're only 30 people away from my Janet Jackson giveaway for the Carol's Daughter lovely product basket that I'm going to send to a lucky winner. I hope you guys keep watching my videos. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and always remember to strive for greatness inspire others and spread love have a wonderful day night week whatever it is when you're watching this and i will see you guys soon bye okay let's get started we're going to use the cantu care for kids curling cream this stuff is bomb diggity for 4.99 you need to take yourself to the store right now so you can try this stuff it's amazing of course an oil i like to keep a spray bottle in case my hair gets dry and i need a new one it's like turning colors <laughs> And of course, your Eco Styler gel. I have sectioned off my hair into four sections, and I'm gonna take an ample amount, like a lot, and I'm just gonna rub that all in my hair, making sure to just rake it all the way through, trying to coat every strand, basically. Next, I'm going to take my oil. And I'm going to rake that through as well. This is the O in my lock method. Um, just trying to coat every strand. And then I'm going to split that section into smaller sections and work with the Eco Styler Gel. So I am very generous when I do a wash and go with Eco Styler Gel. Like I use all of it. That's why I buy big tubs so I can use a lot of products at one time and not feel guilty. 
once I feel like the product is in good enough, this is where I begin to rake it through each strand, pulling to make sure each strand feels like totally saturated. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just definitely making sure that gel is on every strand and I'm pulling it through and then scrunching. I want the curls to keep their shape. So then I go work on the next section and it's just repeating the same thing over and over and over and over. Um, it's very easy. If you can't do this, you probably should try and seek help because <laughs> this is the easiest thing in the world to do. It's just very time consuming. Once you're done, your section should look a little bit like this, kind of tacky, sticky feeling. I hate it when it's on my neck. And basically, it will have a slight whitish coat to it, but trust me, that will all dry with no flakes. Here, my whole head is completely done. This is what your hair would look like. I just wanted to show you that it gives such great definition. You know, my front doesn't curl as well, but towards the back, yes. Here I am all done and my hair is scrunchy and it's shrunken up so much. So now I'm going to just blow dry all over to make sure I've gotten any damp parts out. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to use the stretching method which gives my curls some added fullness and some length. So I just hit the root basically with my blow dryer a few times. Also just to know, I try not to hold it too long just because I don't want any heat damage. We are trying to get past that phase. So once I'm done just basically stretching the root, then I'll get rid of all the crunchiness I feel by using the praying mantis hands. So I just stretch it out just like that, pull it through, and then I kind of just pick the pieces out and let them fall as they may. And I just do that process to each section of my hair. Now for my favorite part, I pull out my pick and I get to pick in those roots. I love big hair, so of course I just pick and fluff and pick and fluff. Here's my hair fully fluffed out. I wasn't really feeling the front, so I decided to do some twisties. And I will basically fast forward past this part. You guys don't need to see all that. But um, this is what I do when I feel like my heat damage is real bad in the front, even though it's probably been about... I'd say four or five months and I'm noticing that my curls are starting to come alive since I've chopped off those really really straight ends in the front I'm starting to get a lot of curl definition oh do y'all see my eyelashes I did individual eyelashes I watched a video on YouTube and thought I knew what I was doing but I didn't so anyways I take my two twisties and I get down and then I put my hair up and I twist the um, bobby pins in and then I just fluff as usual so that's my final look. If you guys remember, this is what my hair looked like before I started this. Crazy hotness, hot mess, into these soft, defined, bouncy curls. Yes, Cantu and Eco Styler Gel for the win. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all next week. Hey y'all, it's me, Carly Moreau here, and I'm back with a first impressions from Elevate Styles. Yes or no? I love this. Yeah.